That's what he says in verse 13. This will be your opportunity to bear witness. What's my mindset for persecution? Persecution is an opportunity to testify. It's an opportunity to do what I've been called to do. I've been called to be a missionary. And every time the world confronts us with persecution, hey, guess what? There's an opportunity to serve as a missionary. There's an open door for the message of Christ. It's like inviting a lion into your living room when you arrested these guys. I mean, you read about it with Paul. He gets arrested, put in prison, and guards are getting saved. And Caesar's household, members of Caesar's household, are coming to faith in Christ. I mean, they just took the message from out there and brought it in here. Because he, he maintained the mindset of a missionary. Can I ask you tonight, do you want opportunities to be a witness? Do you cherish opportunities to be a witness? Do you pray for opportunities to bear witness to your Savior? I want you to pause on that last question. Be honest with yourself. When is the last time you got up in the morning and you asked the Lord for opportunities on that day to share the good news of Jesus Christ? Father, today, would you, would you open doors of opportunity for me and make me sensitive to those opportunities so that I don't throw them away? Do you ask God for boldness to take advantage of the opportunities? You ever had a door open to you and there's sort of that oh my moment? <laughs> now it's real. Someone asked me a question. I have an opportunity. Am I ready? Am I prepared to give a reason for the hope that I have? Now listen, if you want to be a witness, if you cherish opportunities to be a witness, if you pray for opportunities to be a witness, if you're asking God to give you boldness to take advantage of opportunities to be a witness, Jesus is telling you that persecution is that opportunity. It is that opportunity. And that's why it is no accident that whenever the church has been persecuted, the gospel has advanced. The greatest danger we face as the church is not the hostility of the world. The greatest danger we face is friendship with the world. Becoming friends in the sense of adopting the mindset and the ways of a lost and dying culture. That's the greatest danger we face. In fact, the Bible says that makes us enemies of God. Adulterers and adulteresses in the spiritual realm. So if suffering means an opportunity to be a witness, do you welcome the opportunity? You need to really think about that. If persecution means that you have the opportunity to be a witness, will you joyfully think about that persecution? Lord, thank you. It's an opportunity to bear witness to Jesus.